Trader Joe's versus Whole Foods. Which grocer is going down? Let's talk about that. Good mythical summer. We are about to let two massive grocery store chains throw down in aisle seven. Boop, boop. But first, we wanna let you know that this is the last week of Good Mythical Summer. Next week, there's gonna be no episodes. Hey, but hey, don't, don't panic because the following Monday, September 12th, we'll be back bright-tailed and bushy-eyed with GMM season 22, five episodes a week. Dang, so the summer's almost over for us? Yeah. All right, today we got another food feud, but instead of restaurants, it's grocery stores. Trader Joe's versus the Whole Foods. Now we all all of the foods. Whole Foods has more variety on the shelves. Trader Joe's has the friendlier staff, but the more frustrating parking lots. Yep. But who's got the gooder goods? It's time for Food Feuds. Whole Foods versus Trader Joe's. We're gonna taste and compare popular store branded items from both places, only the store brands, okay? Yep. Head to head and rate them. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. We're each gonna rate them. We're each gonna rate them. Uh, Whichever chain scores highest will be dubbed the Globe's Greatest Grocer and will win a chance to sponsor a future GMM episode. Is somebody ever gonna take us up on this offer? Please. So these groceries are gonna be delivered because that's how I get my groceries. Oh yeah, so hello. Hi. I'm Whole Foods Harlow. Hi. hi. Namaste. Uh, You guys have really great auras. Let me guess, hang on. You're both Aries. Um, no, nope. no, Libra. Well, listen. Um, when you uh, lie to all of us, like you tomatoes. lie to your inner child. So <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you're definitely Aries. Cauliflower this crust. This is our cheese pizza with rich pureed cauliflower for the crust, mozzarella, and egg whites. Okay. Okay. Is that a smoky eye? <laughs> and voice. Hey, everyone. What up? Hi, I'm Trader Joe's Teddy. And did you guys find everything okay today? Yeah, we oh, did. We kind of we kind of sat here, and you just yep. That's uh, one other than a parking spot. Yes. Yeah, no, we don't have those. Uh, so this is Trader Joe's ready to bake cheese pizza with a cauliflower crust for four ninety nine. It is so good. Just smell. Just it does oh, smell. Actually, okay, <laughs> you guys smell really good. Oh, <laughs> thanks. I wow, didn't, I didn't shower. Very, so very I wore friendly. I, that's what I'm smelling. Yeah, they're, they're very friendly at the Trader Joe's. You know the cologne shower days. Where you don't take a shower, so you just put on a little extra spritz? No. That's what I did today. Now, this one smells weird. Compa- smell no, of that. Don't get them mixed up, brother. See, that smells decent. This smells weird. It's tangy. It's um, not overly cheesy or yeah, anything to really brag about. Is this Immediately, one the big difference for me is the is that oregano? There's a really strong oregano oh. taste coming off of the uh, the Trader Joe's, which feels like a, an improvement because this does feel a little bland. To put it simply, this one doesn't taste great. I'm not particularly excited about either one, but this one's definitely better. I'm giving right? the Whole Foods a five. Out of out of ten, is that how we do this? Yeah, <laughs> out of ten today, yeah. I, I I don't like the smell. I don't like the taste. Uh, I'm gonna give it the benefit of doubt and still give it a four. The but cheese is not bad. Over here, this is this is markedly better. I'm gonna give it a five, six, seven. Should I go to seven? You know what? I'm gonna go to seven. I think there's that much of a discrepancy. I don't. I do think there is some discrepancy, but it's just a six for me. Six okay. For the Man, we guys, ordered some sausages. You are so lucky. Yes. Right, so these are Trader Joe's chicken sausages. It's got little cut yep. bits of apple in there. It's got cinnamon spice. It's got maple syrup flavor, and it's also got delicious chicken leg meat for only four twenty nine. Chicken it's, leg meat? How do yeah. you know that? Well, because they take it from the legs. No, oh, man, that's what that <laughs> is. And mm-hmm. also, these are of course Trader Joe's delicious hot dog buns for only two ninety nine. This is so delicious. I eat I, it, like, I get it every day. You're so nice. You're gonna love you're it. You're too nice. What do you guys eat every day? Um, yeah, you're you too, need to just, leave the spiritual friendly. plane to go over right. there. I right, see you later. Chicken leg okay. meat, dark meat sausage. Hello again. Hi. Hey. Uh, so this is our nitrate free chicken sausage mm-hmm. um, with organic cage free chickens that uh, they're fed like an all vegetarian diet. Is it their legs? And 
I don't know. Okay. Um, but isn't, you know, the world is full of legs. Anyway. That's true. Um, it's seven ninety nine, but then the buns are two ninety nine, And I have it on good um, authority that the chicken is at peace and you can enjoy its flesh. Oh, the chicken is at peace. I don't like hearing chicken and flesh right before I bite into meat. <clears throat> you know, uh, Trader Joe's started just down the road in Pasadena. Yeah, 1967. And that, and that, oper that operation is still in operation. And then in 1979, they sold to the uh, owner of uh, Aldi, or Aldi, depends on where you're from. You Did you that. know that? Yeah. Did you know that Whole Foods was bought by Amazon? Yes, I did know that. Years ago. Did you know that Trader Joe's in 2008 in Business Week was ranked as the highest merchandise per square footage sold in a grocery store change? And then in 2016, in a Forbes article, that number was $1,750 per square foot, which is double that of Whole Foods. I just read all that a second ago. I retain that kind of information very well. So per, so how do I interpret that? Per square inch? Trader Joe's is is uh, more expensive. I didn't say anything about expense, brother. <laughs> revenue. Oh, sales. revenue. Trader Joe's sells twice as much food per Dang. square foot. Per square foot, which is brother. Kind of a, you kind of if I call you that, but they're but they're a lot smaller. I'm just going to experiment with calling you brother. All right, sister. That's a good sausage. That's real Typically, good. Typically, I would have mustard on it or like something. <laughs> I'm not a psychopath. <laughs> it looks a lot better than the Trader Joe's leg meat sausage. I'm kind of blown away by that. I've had this before. Push it to the edge. Um, it was Fortune Magazine, not Forbes. I did miss one detail. It's not nearly as flavorful as the Whole Foods. The bun is distracting. Can we just say that? The buns yeah. are equal. Yeah, I'm done with that. I like the Whole Foods a whole lot better. Mm. There's a pop to that sausage too. I mean, I'm gonna give this organic apple Whole Foods sausage an eight. An eight. <laughs> it's strong, man. Agreed. And I think this one, yeah, I'll give it a six. And you know what? I completely agree, brother. <laughs> but we're not actually related. We're not, no. We're just friends. <laughs> I like the rustic environment of a Trader Joe's. Oh, yeah. Mm. Hello. These are our non-GMO mac and cheese bites from mm. Whole Foods. Oh, wow. They're made with real cheddar cheese and encased mm. in whole wheat bread crumbs. And if you think about it, aren't we all just crumbs floating through the universe waiting for someone to heal our trauma? Yeah. Yep. Space yep. dust. Right. Yeah, I get that. Mm. Mm. I bet they're good for you, too. Yeah, probably. It's my two best friends. What's up, guys? Yeah, we're tight now. <laughs> uh, I love you. Yeah. You yeah did. Nice. <laughs> so these are our uh, new and improved Trader Joe's mac and cheese bites. We have all sorts of cheese blends in there. We have cheddar, Havarti. We got, uh, oh, Pecorino Romano. Oh, wow. <laughs> $3.99. Uh, that's the way my grandmother used to say yeah, it before right, she yeah. died. Thanks, <laughs> thank, so, thanks a lot, Teddy. Yeah. So upbeat. Uh, thanks uh, a lot, Teddy. We you guys have any I think we're, dead grandparents? I think we yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah, all be, of them. Be our friend over there. All of them. <laughs> I trip. Now, I'm going to tell you right now. Those are bigger. Whole Foods, I'll bring in the box here. Um, Trader they don't Joe's look, they is don't bigger. Look, they don't, the Trader Joe's looks bi bigger and better. But looks are I don't know, this deceiving. looks pretty good. See that cheese coming out? That's nice, I'm gonna pull it apart. Do you know that it, as of 2019, there were 500 North American locations of Whole Foods? And in 2017, uh, what's the name of that company? Trader Joe's. Yeah, uh, I think I was wrong about that. Huh? You're looking at, are you trying to, trying to act like you know facts? As of 2019, there were 500, uh, yeah, Whole Foods, but also, do you know that Whole Foods sold to Amazon for $13.7 billion in 2019? Billion. Do you think it was worth it? Well, that's what we're being the judge of. This is a great be, invention. Be better. Well, it's just, I mean, it's mac and cheese. What's not a lie? You thinking it's not salty enough? Precisely. Maybe that is it. I really this thought that it needed too. more salt. Ooh, yeah. Oh Ooh, my gosh. Or hotter. You must have gotten a hot one. <laughs> Ooh. This is this is more than twice as good as this. You can taste the cheese. I All those cheeses that Teddy was talking about. Definitely Pecorino. hotter. Well, get one that's not hot because I feel like it's throwing you off because mine wasn't hot at all. This is so much better. Can I touch all of them? 
<laughs> this is bland. Yeah. What that one on the edge was super piping. This one's better. Everything about that's better. Creamy cheese over here on Trader Joe land. If this had a sauce again, you don't need sauce for mac and cheese bites. If, if your mac and cheese bites need sauce, you've done something wrong. Three. I mean, I just, I, I, I actively dislike this because the bar is set so high for a mac and cheese bite. Yeah, you, you're going in on a treat just to treat yourself. I'm gonna finish. Then you show up with these. I'm gonna give them a four. You're definitely right though. These are creamier, they're bigger, they're more flavorful. Which is all around um, nicer. Seven. <clears throat> I'm not gonna go all the way to nine because I know what a mac and cheese bite can be. Have you had those at the Cheesecake Factory? Have you seen those mac and cheese mm -mm. balls at the Cheesecake Factory? Good God. Gracious. I'm gonna go to eight though. Wow. Eight. eight. He's so, gone to eight. I've gone to eight. I did it. Once upon a time, we put cheese wheels on a car. But today, we put a car with cheese wheels on a shirt. Check out the new Red Link Cheese Wheel Racing Tee. Look at that. It's, it's an action-packed shirt. Boy, it looks like a lot of fun. What are those boys? I mean, boy. Are they, are they brothers? <clears throat> yep. <laughs> no, they're just good friends. Oh, that's right. Cheesing. This happened in real life. Now it's happening on a shirt. Grab them for yourself. Mythical.com. Mythical that's the website. Hey, this. What up, bestie? Yeah, so this is Trader Joe's Thai vegetable gyoza for four seventy nine. I've never been to Thailand. I've always wanted to go. Thailand's great. We, we should go to Thailand. Let's go. I'm already buying tickets. What's your social security number? Okay, we're so not. We, all right. That Why tight. do you smell so good? That, that's a lot. <laughs> Overly friendly. That's yeah, what they, yeah. It's a little overbearing. I like numbers too. Oh. For example, your birthday is. September 16th, 1912. Uh, <laughs> you're you got the a, year a, right. A little bit. <laughs> this is it, June, yes. June 1st, I mean, that's yeah. your spiritual birthday, sorry. Yeah, maybe a previous life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Um, so this is Whole Foods vegetable pot stickers. Pot stickers. Um, it has shiitake mushrooms and other vegetables in it like uh, celery and bok choy. Mm, I love okay. bok choy. Now we do know that there is a difference between gyoza and pot stickers, but we but don't know subtle. what it is. It's very subtle, and we don't, know, subtle and we don't know what it is. Carney knows. We don't. We don't, we don't want him to tell us. Do you know that the average grocery store has fifty thousand items on its shelves, but Trader Joe's only has four thousand, less than ten percent. It's a small place. That's why the best part of and going the to Trader Joe's. The best part of going to Trader Joe's is the going to the grocery store after it to get all the stuff that you didn't get at Trader Joe's. <laughs> well, you know. Don't be expecting any meat now. It's a vegetable. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know because I was, I was expecting meat. I was. I was disappointed. No, I was, and I am disappointed. I'm not joking, brother. All right, sis. So I don't know about you calling me sis, but it's good for what keep, it is. But keep it's trying. not what I wanted it. Keep to trying be. it. Not what I wanted it to be. These are vegetable as well, but they're handmade in Thailand. I don't know if I believe that. Well, it says it right there, handmade in Thailand. I still don't believe it. Oh my goodness. There's so much more flavor at Trader Joe's. I think you're tasting the Thailand. Don't you feel like there's that much more flavor? Like, is there meat in this? Is what I'm thinking, but there's not. This is just a weird consistency. I think it's the mushrooms in it make it's it not, not as- not bad. These are so much better. Good gosh. They are much saltier, I think. Our North Carolina um, palates may be responding to the salt content. Let's just look quickly and see. So in three pieces of this, which is serving size. Three pieces of this. You get uh, 11%, 250 milligrams of sodium. 13%, 310. Yeah, it so, needs to be 310. So it's not that much different to be, well, it's, I mean, it's, I mean, it's another percentage point. Two. The difference between 13 and 11 is two, yeah, two brother. Two percentage points. If you're counting. Yeah, and I am, and I think that 2% makes all the difference in the world. I'm gonna give these an eight. I've oh, gotta give those. Well, you went the other way. You've thrown us all off. Okay, start here. Six. I, I would keep eating them. I don't dislike them. Mm, I'm gonna give those. For what a, they are. I'm gonna give them a five. Okay. And I don't know if you knew, but I'm gonna give these an eight. I'm gonna give those a seven. Huh. Two points different for two percentage points of sodium. Yes. The Whole Foods has that whole buffet part. Yeah, oh, that's you can the eat thing. There. Hi. Right. This is my final offering to the altar of whatever this is. And uh, this, this is, is an our, awesome internet show. This is our mini dark chocolate peanut butter cups made with fair trade ingredients. It's been a pleasure. 
Oh, okay. Thank so you. these are dark chocolate. Yes. These are dark chocolate. Okay. And they are mini. And these are also dark chocolate peanut butter cups. But they uh, don't have any foil. Well, they don't need it. It's uh, it's about the deliciousness of it, you know. So okay. they yeah. have a they have a belly button. They have dark chocolate made of high quality cacao beans for four forty nine. Listen, I know I come on like a little bit strong. A little bit. But too, too I strong. I just wanna let you know it comes from like a place of caring and love. Okay, so, thank you for yeah, letting yeah, us know. Can I I know no. it's been trained in take a it. picture of your feet? No. No, 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 no. Just want to see. From, you know what? From over there, where our friendship thrives. Okay. Link, did you know that the president of Whole Foods North Atlantic region is Rick yes. Bonin? Bonin. <laughs> yeah. Rick Bonin. Rick Bonin. Rick Bonin. Yeah. <laughs> he Shout out to Rick Bonin. <laughs> he, he actually changed his own last name legally to that when he was 13. Rick Bonin? Yeah. Rick Bonin. <laughs> Rick Bonin. The 365 is a lot darker of a dark chocolate than the Trader Joe. Interesting. Rick is about to have the weirdest morning. <laughs> uh, look at the coloring of that peanut butter. It, it wasn't that great. It's shorter and it's it's like real, the peanut butter is pasty white. I've had this before. Oh, bring Lovely in that package. I, that package is, I, is pretty iconic. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. These are so much better at Trader it's Joe's. It's so smooth. I, I mean, I would say these are better than Reese's. No. Come on, man. All right, if a Reese's is a 10, then I'm gonna give this a nine. I, I mean, you. I, I'm not setting the scale at Reese's, but maybe I should because it is the perfect peanut butter cup. What are you gonna- Again, you're raking this first, which is throwing me off. What? But I know you're gonna go with it nine, right? Yeah, but let's say I haven't done it. Let's go over here. I'm disappointed. There's not anything I can pinpoint about this that would make me not disappointed, except when you keep saying Rick Bonin. Bonin. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a I five with that. I'm giving it a five, but I'm giving it one big old point for Bonin. Six. Rhett, they suck. Don't do that. No, Bonin, man. Uh, I'm gonna give these a one. And then, <laughs> what? When, and then when you get, when give, you, give give it a point for boning, man. And then I'm gonna give it a point for boning. <laughs> so, so two. I'm giving this a two, and I am not gonna apologize for it. Okay. I am gonna apologize to Rick on Rhett's behalf. <laughs> well, Sorry, Rick. What? Yeah. Uh, over here, I. You know what? I don't know what I'm gonna give this. Why don't you go first? <laughs> I think it's very good. I'm gonna give it an eight. That's what I was thinking. I thought you might give it a nine. You seem to like it so much. I already said eight, right? Yeah, you said nine. <laughs> oh, I did? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give. <laughs> Hold on, you can't give it a point for boning because boning had nothing to do with that. Are no. you going eight plus one for boning? I bet, I, bet, I, I bet Joe's been doing his share of boning. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm giving these a nine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Which is what I intended. Yeah, right, uh huh. Let's, let's tally up the scores. Okay, so we got 51 points for Whole Foods and 72 for Trader Joe's. This is a blowout. Biggest blowout since Booker de Beppa. <laughs> yeah, so Trader Joe's, congratulations. You are the Globe's greatest grocer and you just want a chance to sponsor a GMM episode. And congratulations to Rick Bonin. If you, hey, listen, <laughs> if you want to sponsor a GMM episode, Rick Bonin, just, Oh, you can also call us. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Call me Rick Bone. Bone. Hello, I'm Mia from Florida. This is Bugsby. And this is Darwin. And we say it is time for you to spin the wheel of mythicality. <laughs> I thought we were like, that, it was a radio frequency. I know, we like, that's the noise that they make. Isn't it awesome? Click the top link to learn your state's favorite Trader Joe's item in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. The Red Link Cheese Wheel Racing Tee is coming in hot to mythical.com. Blink fast and you just might miss it.